height. When you are writing code, it is very important that you add comments to the code so that you can read it later and understand what is happening in your code. What I mean to say is, let us say you have written some hundred lines of code today and after one year if you are opening it, you will not be able to remember what you have written, why you have written some constraints. So then what you should be doing is, if you add some comments in your program, it will be readable. Later you can read and understand why you have written each construct. Now, it is not just for you. Let us say if you are working in an organization and you have newly joined and you have to read the code written by others to understand what has been done so far. Now, if you are reading the others code, then without comments, it will be very difficult for you to understand why they have used certain constructs in the program. Right? So that is why comments are very important. In Python, how do you write comments is for a single line comment, you can use a hash symbol. For multi-line comments, you can use three quotes, okay? So let us say we have three lines here. Now we want to comment them using single line comments. Then we are using hash symbol, hash symbol followed by this, right? And then you can use multi-line comments. Okay, like that. Three quotes double quotes three double quotes you can use and it, it is called multi you know comments so you can use these comments okay now let's get back to python program now let us say in this program i want to know what is i want to get an input from the user his name and i want to print how many characters are there in his name okay i want to get a name from this terminal and i want to show you or i want you to do uh, print how many characters are there in the terminal. So in this program, generally whenever I give you any task to do, you just pause your video and try to do it on your own. And uh, first thing that you can do is go to Stack Overflow. And in the Stack Overflow, if you type the query, how to find the length of a string, then you are going to get some answer. You can use it. I suggest that you use Stack Overflow as much as possible so that you will be able to see what are the different ways to do the same thing. In our class, I will be explaining you only one way to do certain thing, but there can be multiple ways to do the same thing. So Stack Overflow will be really helpful in, in which you will be seeing all the alternatives. Okay. Now, let us say I want to get the name. So before that, let us say, let us say, okay, let us see how the length function works. So I will just directly give a name and I will print what is length function giving us. Now I am right, I'm running what is your name. I am just typing RPR. Okay. So the answer is 13 for Ravinder Babu. Okay. So, it might be confusing for you to see all this. So, what has exactly happened here is, first I am reading something from the terminal, what is your name, and then I am using length function to whatever I have written, or whatever I have got from input, I am applying length function, and whatever length function has, you know, uh, returned, I am printing it. So, it might be confusing for you. So, let me write simple examples. Uh, let us say, length of Ravi. Now you'll be able to understand it. Ravi is a string of four characters and I'm using len function. So len is going to return four and print is going to print it. Okay, so four is going to be printed. So like this, you can use len function to find out the length. And length is a length is a inbuilt function. You don't have to write the code for it. It is already present. You can directly use it. It is an inbuilt function. And len is used in many, many cases. And as we go, uh, as we go forward in this course, as we progress, I'll be telling you what, where all learning is used. Okay, thank you.